Hello everybody, Buddy Wesson here, and we're going to be starting the main story, right from where we left off with the uh, end of the storyline. So I'm not sure if I'm going to label this uh, episode one, or if I'm going to label it some other episode, save day can be carried over to the next cycle, save, things maybe, oh yeah, yeah, I want to save. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's continue, yeah. King Kridrevskoy, the mighty ruler of the Netherworld. His long reign came to an abrupt end as the news of his death spread throughout the Dark Land. Ambitious demons rose one after another to seize the opportunity. And thus began the age of turbulence and anarchy. Two years later, There's only one thing left to do. What fool dares awaken me, the great Laharl? Oh, Prince! I'm glad you're still alive. And that is where the difference between Etna Mode and Laharl Mode is. She does not pull the trigger at that moment. Who said I was dead? I was just taking a nap. Anyways, why are all those weapons behind you? Well, I was having a hard time waking you up. Are you sure you weren't trying to kill me instead? No! Uh, I mean, yes. I, I just wanted to wake you up. <laughs> Whatever. So, what is it? You better have a good reason for waking me up. Big news! Your father, King Krzyzewski, has died! He what? When? Two years ago. Wait a second! So, you're telling me that I've been sleeping for over two years? Yep. Yup? Why didn't you wake me up earlier? Excuse me, but what do you think I've been doing all this time? The Netherworld has gone to hell while you were sleeping. It's not my fault if some other demon steals the title of Overlord. What? Have they forgotten whose title they're trying to steal? <laughs> How bold of them. I shall show no mercy, for I am Laharl, the rightful heir to the throne. Ha! <laughs> Your humble vassal, Etna, will accompany you. Episode 1, Prince of the Netherworld. Okay, and here we are. Uh, so, let's go into status. Yeah, we still have, like, all our, the rest of our, our team. I'm uh, gonna rearrange, put Laharl... Top. Okay. Hara there. Uh, switch that out. Put that. Uh, gonna put that. Put that. Put that. Okay. Already doing pretty damn swell for him. So I think he already has six movement, which is nice. Um, not sure what other stuff I can put on. Uh, I'll just give her insane amounts of movement then. Um, oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> okay, this is what I love about New Game Plus. New ally join party. Oh, okay. So this is the character that I was prepping for, Clanair. So she uses guns. Uh, real good. Um, let's get to her status. Uh, she's a mascot. Uh, wait. Yeah, 
She uses guns real good, she uses spears, she uses fists real good. So, I was uh, expecting her to be where that maid Prinny was in, uh, in the last game, or in the last playthrough, but he wasn't, which surprised me because he was supposed to be there. Um, but that is beside the point. Uh, okay. What's going on, man? It's like you printed taking a two-year nap. I found nap for about ten days. Something's not right. Okay. Well, it looks like I wasted my time on doing that grave for you. But you in the grave instead. Okay. Yay! Although I last left the castle shortly after the king died, and he's still around. While you were sleeping, I must have forgotten about you. Okay. So, usually, plein air is, uh, let's just run over here. Okay. Hello. Yeah, I know. 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 Come on. Let me skip it. Let me skip it. Okay. So usually, plein air is right here. And to get her, you have to uh, finish the game once. And that can be done a variety of ways. One of them is losing to a certain character in, I think, Chapter 3. Uh, and I thought doing Etna Mode would do it. But Planair just auto-joins your team on the in the PC mode. Uh, so... The uh, importance of this run, specifically, is... Uh, uh, no, I want a dark record. So... That, uh, you might wonder, like, okay, playtime, that sounds useful. Round number, that's also useful. Max damage, total damage, geo combo. And then there's friendly killed current. Uh, killed current. And that's important because it needs to remain at zero for me to get the best ending, which I've never done. Uh, I've only ever gotten the uh, common ending, which I believe is the canon one, although it's not really canon based on future entries. Uh, so I'm wondering what the best one is, because I can't quite remember it, or if I ever even looked, looked it up. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, now, because I have, uh, <laughs> uh restarted, I have to go through, I have to click it through everything again. Have you saved yet? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I don't need to save, because... Uh, yep, 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 I was one, yeah, she's just like on her tiptoes right now. Um, I'm gonna try and you keep my use of like the super high level characters to a general minimum because they're just gonna break the game super hard. Uh, so I'll only use them when like I really have to. Uh, and although I might use them uh, through this. Uh, stuff because of how uh, utterly annoying it will be. Because of uh, just uh, a bunch of fodder characters. But luckily, I still have my weapons from the past run, which make this go a bit faster. Starting to hang things again. Ready to request some allies, Dark Assembly. Yep. Loyal pupils, doesn't sound like a bad idea. Let's go. Assembly, yep. So this is just what you know about it. Because I've already used it several times. So, uh, once again, I'm not going to bother making a healer or anything. Simply because, uh... uh yeah, I'm going to do this because I think I can... I think I can uh, just do it anyway. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm not gonna make any healers because, as you can probably guess, Flan will join the team, uh, and she'll have all her equipment on her. And that's one of the important things: is uh, between runs, you need to unequip items, or else they will just stay on the character um, until you get them again. But 
I'm not too worried about it because Flan was like a magic -y healer type. Okay. That was just useful because it allowed him to level up one or two times. Like that many. But uh, hey, Prince, if you go to the hospital, I just did, bud. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for the free money. At Virus Castle, it's fairly new, so I don't know much about it. However, it is rumored that a very able man lives here. What you gonna do, Prince? Take a peek. I'll slide the master of the castle. That's the first step to coming. So that's that's actually nice because. Um, I believe in the first game, there was, like, several different practice maps, like, several different tutorial ones, but they just have, like, that one, which I believe was, like, the final one. Um, so let's, let's get into it. Okay, so this is the same map that you saw in a previous run of it, probably. Uh, this is the, this is one of the, uh, maps that I grinded on, in fact. Um, yeah, I think Blade Rush now, which is nice. So Planair was like easily one of my favorite characters in uh, Dis Disguise DS when I got her, uh, which is one of the reasons why uh, when I did play the game originally, I uh, I purposely wiped at the uh, at a certain uh, stage so I could achieve an ending because it it resets your entire game if you uh, if you do it, so it counts as one round and. It's odd, because in this game, guns act more like bows. Like, there's no clear difference. Whereas in later entries, guns have longer range, but they can only go in the four directions. Whereas uh, bows have omnidirectional uh, capabilities, but they're generally uh, weaker. Uh, you're looking like you're not going to be moving very much, so I'm just going to come over here and rinse you. Again. And there. Okay. Yeah, just getting through all these stages. No problem. Okay. Come over here. Uh, gonna rearrange real quick manually. I don't quite know if there's a useful way to do it like in previous games where you could like uh, slot them in between people, but I don't think so. And I don't think there's any better equipment I could have on her right now, um, which is unfortunate uh, because the I believe the item shop resets in terms of uh, a shop level. Oh no, it doesn't. Cool. So I could, in fact, buy um, like a nice thing to put on her. I would want to unlock glasses inventory, which I don't think I have, uh, because glasses and... actually, I'm not sure I'm not sure if glasses improve hit. So basically for guns, if I remember correctly, uh, instead of like having attack and intelligence for uh, physical and... Wow! This is a pretty nice place! And magic attacks, guns go based off of either hit or speed or both. I can't quite remember. I think glasses help with hit, but I know shoes help with speed. Oh, that vase would sell for a lot. Fool, that makes us petty thieves. I can't disgrace the name of the Overlord. I have to be impartial and... Impartial and... what? Plunder everything! Oh, that's our prince! You're so ruthless! Hey there, you atrocious fiend! You cold-blooded monster! A demon among demons! <clears throat> Quit complimenting me so much. It's embarrassing. Now listen up. I want you to pillage and plunder anything and everything in this castle. Aye, aye, dude. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, this game... Uh, is kind of a combination of a few different ones because of, uh, uh, so PC is the port of the PSP version, I believe, and the PSP version, uh, had essentially two different recordings on it, 
where one was the original PS2 version, which had those pretty voices, and then I think there was the secondary pretty voice, which was only in the Etna mode, because Etna mode was recorded after regular. So that's the reason why those guys sound so goddamn weird. Okay, and then let's get rid of him. And turn... Yes. Okay. Right, gonna start moving up. Luckily, these guys seem to counter quite often. As opposed to Etna and any of the people on her team. Or him here. Just gonna do that. Um, okay. I don't think you have any more light moves. So, do this. No, it's nice to have someone with, like, just base range. Uh, Planar is just nice, because I, I could have equipped someone with a gun, but I didn't want to. Um, try this. Luckily, that was. I was right on the mark. I didn't even know that was the range of the move. Okay. Now I'm going back just to get some SP. Unfortunately, as they are low-leveled, they do not have the uh, capabilities of just... Like, just continuously using their uh, uh, moves. Okay. So this is one of the maps where I started down here, and everyone else was in different places. Okay. Knuckle, which I believe is his uh, first unique move. So that's nice. And he, he procs counter near every time, which is awesome. Um, I probably will not be able. Yeah, I don't think I would. And that just is uh, four blocks around. I was debating whether or not I would use Usagi Drop on this guy and kill these guys, but Laharl countered them and demolished them. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, this is going by real fast. Just, oh, I love it. Countering, like, successfully and one-hitting everybody. So nice. Hmm? Is this the last room? <laughs> who's there? How rude! Invading a man's house and asking him who's there? But I give you credit for your bravery. Ha! Voila! Forgive moi, I must leave you in awe. My name is Vyers. I am the lord of this castle. Vyers? Isn't he the demon that's been knocking off competition for the throne? We. Oui, that is correct, mademoiselle. I am an aristocrat with both strength and beauty. They call moi the Dark Adonis. Young man, I assume that you are the son of the late King Kretescoy, are you not? That's right. I'm Laharl, the heir to the throne. The heir to the throne? Ha! <laughs> That is history, dear boy. Your existence has long been forgotten. Are you blind to the horde of demons lining up to fight for the throne? So, I'm the heir. That's all that matters. If they've forgotten, then I'll just have to make them remember. I see. So you saw my potential and decided to strike first against more. Such wonderful intuition. Well played, son of Krzyzewskoy. I've never even heard of you. It's only a coincidence that we're here. You're just a tiny stepping stone on my path to the throne. <gasps> How dare you! I am the Dark Adonis Vi- Who gives a damn about you? Your new name is Midboss. Mid-Mid-Midboss? <laughs> Midboss. Looks like you hurt his pride, Prince. Unforgivable! That is unforgivable!
So you can definitely tell that the voice acting between the first, uh, between this mode and the future modes has indeed improved, uh, just based purely on, like, uh, how they sound and other such things. So that was one of the reasons why when Virus appeared, I made sure to uh, draw attention to him being really happy that people called him by his name Virus, because everyone calls him mid-boss in the normal mode. <laughs> um, okay. So, you're annoying, but you also have the boost times six, so I'm just going to play as nothing. And I probably should turn on... Effects. Uh, uh, just for right now. Special attack. So I can get up the yep. Rabbits. Usagi is rabbit in Japanese, in case you didn't know. Um, and she was in the last game as well. So that's why I wasn't too... Uh, well, I don't know where I was going with that sentence. But, uh, yeah, she was in the last game. I think I, I think she also had Usagi drop. I think that's one of the moves that she just, like, always has. Um, okay. So let's... Here I come! Let's Blade Rush. And then, depending if we get a next turn, if he attacks and I counter... Oh, it doesn't look like it. Looks like he just headbutts the ground and erupts in fire instead of punching it as it's kind of intended to be. Because Knuckle. <laughs> I have underestimated your skill. I took you for but a child, but that was an error in judgment. I am too kind hearted. Liar! You were serious just now. How pathetic. Nothing's worse than a sore loser. <sighs> What repulsive little brats you are! I shall come to return the favor, so do not forget moi! All right, let's collect the spoils and head home. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Master Etna ran away, which means... Dude, we're gonna have to carry all this? We're Master Etna's vassals, not the Prince's. Etna's vassals are my vassals. And my vassals do what I say. Now get to work, dude. Now, now, it's only until next Red Moon, right? I guess you're right, dude. I'll get to work. No, he doesn't suspect a thing. I see, but still, how did he survive after drinking that potion? If he fully recovers, this will become a difficult task. Don't worry. If you leave it to me, the throne will be yours. Are you sure you can deliver on that promise? Yes. Remember, in exchange. I know. When I reign supreme as the Overlord, I shall return it to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's a little less surprising, like a little less, because uh, we know who that is. We know her situation and whatnot. Um, Finally, the time has come for Prince Laharl to pay for all his evil deeds. Hey! Now, Etna will fulfill the late prince's wish and succeed him to the throne. I'm not dead. So long, Prince! Your humble vassal, Etna, will put your money and power to good use! You're one scary girl. Next on Hyperdimensional Demon Gal Etna, Episode 2, The Birth of Queen Etna. A new era of the Netherworld begins! You're delusional. And this was the start 
of uh, those like between chapter uh, fun time things. Celestia, a world where beings known as angels live. The netherworld, Celestia, and the human world. Legend has it that these worlds are connected. Okay. This is one of such nexuses between the netherworld and Celestia. However, it is sealed by a gate constructed by the angels of ancient times. Yes, I did. Here, Flon, have a look. The flowers are in full bloom. How beautiful! <laughs> I love these flowers. They are simple yet so bright and lively. I want to be like these flowers. Flon, listen carefully to what I have to say. Yes? As Seraph, I have orders for you, Angel Trainee Flon. Go to the Netherworld and assassinate the Overlord King Krajewskoy. Episode 2, Enter Flan. Well, I'm here, at the Overlord's Castle. See, I'm wondering the, like, like the journey she had before getting there. I still wonder why the Seraph picked me, though. Master Volcanus would have been a much better choice. Not only that, but an assassination. What is the Seraph thinking? Master Lamington! Master Lamington, are you here? Why all the ruckus, Volcanus? You scared the birds away. Who cares about the birds? I have an important question. Is it true that you sent Flan to assassinate King Krachevskoy? Yes, it is true. What, 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 what did you do that for? King Krachevskoy is the ruler of that abominable, dirty, rotten netherworld. If you wanted him assassinated, it would have made more sense to send me. Instead, you pick that angel trainee. You think too highly of her. I am very aggravated by this. That is exactly why you are not fit for this task. Besides, this is something that only Flan can accomplish. Whoosh! That's, that, that's a common, like, onomatopoeia, like, where ninjas would say it at the end of their sentences, just so you understand where she's going with oh. Whew. Looks like I made it in without being seen. How? What do they call those guys in the human world? Oh, yes, ninjas! I always wanted to be one. Maybe I have potential. Nin, nin! But still... Is it all right for me to be doing this? The angels all say that demons are evil. But are they really? It doesn't seem fair to judge somebody based on rumors alone, even if it's the Seraph's orders. I don't feel right assassinating somebody I don't know. Or someone that's already dead. Does that mean it's all right to assassinate somebody I do know? Hmm, that seems wrong too. Can't kill strangers. Hmm. Can't kill acquaintances either, which means, oh. Who are you, and why are you in my room talking to yourself? Ah! Ow! What the heck did you do that for? Oh, I'm sorry. You scared me, so I accidentally. Huh? Is he a demon? There are demons this young. I didn't know that. Hmm. So who are you? Me? Nice to meet you. I'm an assassin. Oops! I wasn't supposed to say that. You're pretty dense, aren't you? My! How rude! Calling somebody you just met dense. I think an assassin that tries to kill someone in his sleep is a lot ruder. You're right. I apologize. <laughs> 
Is she really an assassin? It looks like I failed this time, so I guess I'll be leaving now. I'll be back again. Please take care. God. Hey, wait! Someone, get in here, now! Why are you yelling at this time of night? Oh, did you have a night meal? That was the most babyish way of saying nightmare I've ever heard, and I love it. No, you fool! An assassin has infiltrated the castle! Huh? What happened to the prinnies that were supposed to be on patrol? Ah, they've partied themselves to sleep. Those idiots! I'm gonna smack them and wake them up now! We've got an assassin to track down! Okay. And with the end of chapter one, I'm going to end episode one slash, like, 14-ish. I don't know. I, I think it was, like, 14. I think it was, like, 13 that ended at the mode and whatnot. Uh, but, yeah, we've met Flan in this situation. We've met everyone, essentially. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I hope you all have a very nice day.